Welcome, everybody, to day number three, the early edition at the K-Rock Coachella House. This is Portugal the Man on stage here. Listen, they're playing the main stage later today, which is huge. Zach, where were you last night? Uh, we were in Flagstaff, Arizona. So you get on a bus yeah. or a jet to get here then? We were on a bus. Okay. Yeah. And now you're here setting it's up? A, private, a greyhound. We just took a greyhound down. <laughs> Uh, I also just want to give the guys some love because uh, this week, it's now three weeks in a row, number one for Live in the Moment. Hey. Um, let's see. Okay, here's what I think we're going to do. I've done, they're probably so sick of me, many interviews over the last two to three years with Way the guys. Too many. Yes. Way too many. I would be annoyed with me as well. I'm just going to ask you, hey, Eric. Hey, buddy. Hey, guys. Hello. Um, we'll go back and forth right here. These are just going to be some fast questions. Uh, you have to answer. Oh, here we no. go. Uh, well, Zach, we'll start with you. Okay. Within the next two years, would you rather have a Grammy or po another Grammy or Portland Trailblazers win the NBA championship? Dude, championship. <laughs> Rise up, Rip City. <laughs> Now that you guys have a Grammy, does everybody in the band have at least one assistant? Uh, we're not quite there yet. That's a two Grammy thing. You want something done right, you do it yourself. <laughs> Who's the most famous person you've seen at one of your shows? Oh, man. Stiller. Yeah, Ben Stiller, probably. <laughs> okay, Wedding Crashers, old school or neither? Old school. Yeah. Vacation or Caddyshack? Caddyshack. You're my boy, Ferris Bueller or Breakfast Club? Ferris Bueller. Yeah. Troublemakers. Is this the 1961 Ferrari GT California? Less than 100 were made. My father spent three years restoring this guitar. It is love. It is his passion. His fault. He did not rock the garage. Que bella. Mwah. If you ever have the means to drive one, I highly recommend it. It is so choice. Yes. <laughs> nice. All right. Um... Who would play you in the Portugal the Man movie? Oh man, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say really old John Travolta. <laughs> John, same question. Oh man, I don't know who I got. Yeah, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. All right. And this is actually a real question here. And uh, Zach, I'll go to you. What's the moral to the Portugal the Man story as you've come to this point in your career? Ooh, the moral to our story. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> it's yet to be Eric? written. What do you got, Eric? I'm blank on that. Uh, <laughs> be excellent to each other. Party on, dude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the last thing we're going to do for people that are not here that are watching on krock.com, if you're in Southern California, we're giving away three-day passes for next weekend, and we'll take care of your hotel as well. Anybody can enter that's watching or that's here. So you, you go to the website and you put in the password and you guys can choose the password for the day. We're gonna put it online. Do you guys have one? Trailblazers. <laughs> if the Lakers were in the playoffs, you'd still say Trailblazers. Yeah, we'd have to. Yeah, that's right. They are the Lords of Portland. And uh, let's see, I think we should just end it on that. Do you mind playing a set for our great crowd here? Here's the last thing I'm going to say before they start playing. This is These guys are not even close to an overnight success. They have been an incredibly hardworking and great, great band for many years. They've built up a fan base the right way by the great songs and the wonderful live performances. And we're so appreciative that they are here at our K-Rock house today at Coachella. Ladies and gentlemen, Portugal the Man. Woo!